It, it's a great honor to have you tonight, and thank you for giving us your time. And uh, Dr. Yusuf is going to give us some brief description about Somali poetry so that you can understand. And after that, we're going to start our session, inshallah. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for giving us your time. One of the most valuable things one can give you is their time. And we're really grateful, and we hope you enjoy it tonight, inshallah. Thank you. Dr. Yusuf. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I really appreciate you know, this young women and men and maybe all the men and all the women who organized this fantastic and excellent event uh, related to Somali poetry or poem, but Somali and from Somalis anyway, either younger generation or old generation. Somalia is described or defined as a nation of poets. I was sitting there and my right side was a Zahra and I said, are you a poet? And she said, yes, I'm a poet. And the left side was Elias and I said, are you a poet? He said, I'm a singer. That's a Somali reality. Somalis are a nation of poets. Okay, Somali poetry or Somali poet or Somali poets are speakers of their societies. They describe the situation, you know, the challenges and the dreams and the condition of their societies everywhere they are. Their position is very much similar to the press in the West or the, the newspaper, like The Guardian or Independent. They are feared because if they attack you, they really attack you. They are also loved because if they praise you, they put you to the highest position. Our Shakespeare's are Muhammad Ibrahim Hadrawi and Sayyid Muhammad Abdullah Hassan. They are Shakespeare's of Somali in terms of poetry. We have young poets as well in diaspora. And I'm so appreciative of the organizer of this event to keep uh, intergenerational uh, issue to invite me as an elder uh, a poet in Somali language and also as a young generation to express their poetry and feeling is also in their first language, which is English. Somali is my first language. Uh, for them, Somali is their parents' language, but their first language actually is English. Young generation also can describe their situation. They are here in UK or in USA. Different situation, different difficulties, on different issues, but it's a continuation of Somali, you know, talents and Somali, sense of poem. Now I will read my poem in Somali language, and I think you have already provided uh, its translation in English. So keep in mind that the translation does not whatever represent the real Somali a poem. It just gives you a sense and a very poor meaning of my poetry. Okay, I say, Hadal Horumar Weyan, I'm here to lay you hula e the Weyan. Hadal Kan Hufnan, Yahanato San Law Oran, him a little dila yo hobuna kena. Hadan Hosu so dago, who ye are a bit tedio, Hadal Barasha de Nuba, Hapalo and Weyan. هل أبو رب يلد وهم يمديس يهدف كيس أويه هاي قبيل كأوه هاي صا هاي بتعرض فعلا كوا كلنا هوس مري وهاي بدهم إياه هلا عندما ينو هجر دام ويان تلا عن هبلها إياه هوين كان الله قطرين هرصع ما كان تاب هن هن هبين إياه هوس بين ويان هذا الكيك صار أما هي لحن بعد مرة يدل كي هاللي سه هبدأ حد مجبنا. سمالا هرو تري أن وده هذا الله وأن هشينه إن دي سه يجوه يهاي. هذا الكان ده هني يهنان كان أضطرنا بإن هبتو سلام مرة. قري هنو هو يني إلا هيك قرن يمو. وإن هذا الله ده يني يها ساوه هنو با. نحن ونيان آ. هلين كي هبونا أي نجو هجانون. هم لذا سرّيسيه هم يجي نكرنا. I'm a peace practitioner, and that's why my poem about peace and dialogue, reconciliation, 
and peacemaking. And I used the title, uh, which is a Somali uh, wisdom or Somali proverb, uh, means to dialogue is to reconcile. Thank you very much. And now I would like to welcome to one of almost the youngest one, after the oldest one, Amina. The first poem is called Somali Queen. It's about a young girl who's under the age of 18, who's been forced into a marriage, which turned out to be such a traumatic experience. I'm a Himari girl whose body soaks in blood. My veins pop up, making my, bud, my body a flood. I have been tainted with fake love and abuse. I was forced into a marriage in my youth. Mama and Baba sold me to a man out of fear. I have been trampled on for over a year. I was blinded of my rights in my deen. But now I know that in Islam, I'm a queen. So therefore, I should be respected, I should be treated with respect. The man bruised my skin from within. I did not know how to the girl fight or how to win. All I knew that all I knew was that Balad K was at war. Balad K means country. With itself, its own people fighting each other, shedding pure Somali league blood altogether. But now I freed myself from Mr. Abuser, ran away from the shame, and I'm not a loser. I freed myself from ruining my own body even more. I was beaten, battered, blood on the floor. Listen to my silent screams, we were at war. Refusing to give in to his desires, I was torn. That sweet Somalian soul rises and is now reborn. Thank you. And thank you very much. I just want to invite Elias Mao to spice up a little bit with Nasheed. He's a Nasheed artist from Canada. And I hope you enjoyed, inshallah ta'ala. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and love to all of you. How are you guys feeling? Yeah? MashaAllah. So, anybody heard of me before? Ilyas Mal? Yeah? That's family. <laughs> no, she's actually family. <laughs> um, I uh, am similar to uh, Sister Amina here. Um, you know, I. My tribe is called Shanshio. Um, however, we look past that, right? Uh, tribal wars have been going on for so long. Um, fortunately, my father moved us from Somalia right before the war to Pakistan. And um, a couple of months later, the war erupted in Somalia. So we were fortunate, fortunate enough to escape. However, you know, many of my family, family members have experienced the war, which is devastating. So. This song is called New You. It's about finding your new self. <clears throat> Each day you find a chance for you to go there too, to find your truth, find the new you before you do. Nothing to do with the old you. Let it all fade, you'll find your way. Just trust your fate. Let it all go, and soon you'll know why you felt so low. Let it all fade, you'll find your way. Just trust your fate. Let it all Why do you hurt? Why do you break? Why do you not embrace this change? Why do you hurt? Why do you break? Why do you not 
embrace this change breaking the bad settling the debts clearing the glass losing the hues shedding the mask feeling the sun take a deep breath no time to rest let it all fade you'll find your way just trust your fate let it all go and soon you'll know why you felt so low let it all fade you'll find your way just trust your fate let it all go and soon you'll know why you felt so low? Why do you hurt? Why do you break? Why do you not embrace this change? Why do you hurt? Why do you break? Why do you not embrace this change? Thank you. So hello everyone, my name is Hashi Adan. Um, today, today's poem that I'm gonna to read to you is about what I want Somalia to be in 2030, inshallah. It's 2017 and Hoya still hides the horror scenes engraved in her gaze. As she holds back tears that make her eyes look like jewels, she hides her darkest memories from me. She doesn't know that I recall the time Dad picked up the phone call from home. She broke down from the news that was broken to her, sticks and stones. She doesn't know that I feel the hum of shame when she asked me to translate, spending borrowed time in a country we know nothing of, ignorant to the country we're in and the country we're from, a true definition of grey. We were once a dreamless nation. Hostage. Hostage to nightmares of being back at the war zone, being home. Nightmares from dawn to dusk, nightfall to sunrise. Nightmares from country to country and camp to camp, all with no subtitles to translate what horrors they've seen, only to taste what little empathy they can get from the Ajanibi. We became Ajanibi. That was Somalia in my gaze. 2030. I want Somalia to be home. Somalia is like a dream, a smell I've never smelt, an ambience I've never felt, a scene I've never seen, and a dream I want to dream. I have a dream. It's a realm of proverbs and poetry to teach life and history. Mama Angabe. Presently, we're a culture of silent pride. Despite being the horn of Africa, we're loud and not heard. Known for banana and rice, but they know not to savor the sweet. A culture of hard truths and soft lies. But we're just as blind. So I desire the sight that my son realize the blood that flows through his veins for him to tread on the land his grandmother tread on, to digest the food his grandfather lived off and taste the rain our fathers bathed in. I have a dream. My daughter carries the weight of the culture draped over her shoulders like a garabsar, burdenless to the eyes of the spiteful. Wear her scarf with pride and carry it with pride and carry it with a smile brighter than a moonless sky for it is a veil, a veil that encompasses the ocean which is her beauty. I have a dream that as Ali said, me, we, I want them to be us, our bills to be brethren. I have a dream that my son bleeds tears from his heart as his vein tastes the pain of history and cry and rejoice as he can, as he can call Somalia his home again. For us, they asked have been orphaned of our cultures. It wasn't safe enough to be home, not even for Dragon Alice. Somalia go Ali, so I can learn from the Gabe. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, so this poem is going with the theme as well of like the future of Somalia, inshallah, and inshallah it will be great again. Okay. She knows not of war, knows not of emaciated figures or sewn lips. She knows not of bullets ripping hot air, gunshots making cemeteries out of homes, cannonballs rippling reservoirs collected in the bellies of innocents. She can see herself alive after labor. 
She won't speak of Qabil outside of Burambur. Her mind won't be condemned, won't be shackled by the chains of ignorance, I pray. Plead for a cycle that makes sense, where starved mothers aren't burying their wombs, I pray. Plead for a day where Tahrib lays to rest with Latin, let it be lost in translation. Lost are our children floating on oceans like driftwood. I'm looking for home in the suitcases brought over on asylum. We've been mothered by a land done wrong by colonialism. This umbilical cord still left intact. I'm being tugged by internally displaced persons. They call out in the back of classrooms, in exam halls, at graduations. We sign our certificates Somalia. Our diplomas fill the potholes we bounce over when journeying from Bur'a to Hargeisa. They're translating mental wellness over Shah and Halwad. We're learning the meaning of sabr through cultural barriers and long haul flights. We tell our elders we forgive them. We ask them for our forgiveness, for running away from cross-Atlantic phone calls, for leaving our tongues at the border. Hoya, pardon our silence. Soon our children will force our mouths open, scrub our cheeks of our accents. Soon Somali won't just be our ethnicity. Our second poem. Imagine a world without love, humor, and peace. The storms drain away our emotions, and we use smiles to seize the tears from flowing. Imagine a world where there is no money to purchase what you desire, no matches to light up your, your world with fire, no shelter to cover up the scars we fail to admire. The sun burns our tan skin even more, and we have survived the civil wars, bleeding rivers of mercy, bloodshot eyes. Who knows why my mother still cries? Imagine our people scattered everywhere, but the world does not hide us. We stumble, yet we raise our flag up high. We struggle, yet we are resilient, no lie. We've, we settle in different parts of this Adun, yet our land cries, Balatkana cries for us to come back and reunite with our families. Is golden arrow misses our feet. The clear blue skies and the wind consumes our minds. Thanks. Um, this next poem is called Sticks and Words. It's about um, how when you come to the country and you don't know the language, how you've been belittled and how we have um, suffered. How can I tell you my most vulnerable thoughts? If you can't let me, if I can't let you see my naked mind, my mind with no cloth to hide the strands of expression, the roots of my emotion. How can I show you the contents of my mind if you can't see that it's worth searching for? Treasures in a gold mine. How can I share my failures if you fail to share your compassion and always fashion your words to belittle mine? You've belittled my mind. So belittle my mind, for blowing out my light will make yours shine. Thank you. Uh, I don't know the poem. No. <laughs> okay. I don't know the title of this poem. Okay. My body is my home. I've been living in the cold. Everyone's left. I'm alone. Sadness floats in my heart. People are bit. People are bleeding on the floor. I wish I could help them, but we are abandoned to the war. Our own people kill each other, desensitized. We've ignored all the gore. I know it's hard to take it in. There's no a man, peace anymore. I want to live in a peaceful land, broken bonds never like before. My country is broken in pieces. Smiles hide behind the door. I can't believe this is happening. Through the Albab, there is more. More lives lost, more recruited boys to fight for this never-ending war. More sick souls to be cured. My people are dying slowly. My body needs to be secured. I want to protect my country from the Dhulun oppressors who are bored, taking our resources. All they do is nothing but tour my people apart from each other. My mind is flooded with tears, it's so raw. 
I have blood on my hands, I don't know. This blood stain is, account is unaccounted for. It's not my fault. The mercy escapes from my lips. People smash my walls, but I endure. I stay put, fighting to hold my Somali Arab tongue. My gun hands wraps around my body, I'm not sure. If it's enough for me to protect my country, if I'll shield it from getting attacked in this civil war. Somalia it needs to be reborn, rebuilt, and the people reassured. Because Balad Kena, a country, is torn and our future is bled. Hi guys, sorry, cool. Um, we were giving you a theme and it was uh, how do you see someone in the future? And I guess, I don't think the poem does justice to it, but it's kind of summed it up. So it's called Future Conversations. There is laughter. There is hope. There is no need to buy talk home cards. Your mother holding onto the phone even after the conversation has ended. Less nights of wondering when you will see each other again. There is no need to hold on to your grandmother's scarf at night. You can book a flight and see her. There is no need to hold on to your grandmother's red scarf at night. Less nights of wondering when you will see each other again. Your mother holding on to the phone even after the conversation has ended. There is no need to buy talk home cards. There is hope. There is love. Thank you. You can find my songs on YouTube if you write Elias Mao. Mao is actually Mao. Uh, I'm not from Mao Zedong's dynasty. Uh, so, um, this next one is called Freedom. It's not released yet, it's uh, quite new. Um, so, I'll be reading it off my phone if that's okay with you guys. Bismillah. Looking for a hero Crying while I bleed slow Anybody wanna help me? Somebody just tell me Where is my freedom? Looking up to see hope But all I see is evil I know that God is over me My faith is close to me but I feel lost Been waiting way too long And I don't know if I'll make it My family's devastated And I see the roses fading Freedom Freedom Looking for my mother, burying my brother. Why have we lost each other? Hate seeing them suffer. You can try to walk in my shoes, but you'll never have the same views. I know that God is over me, my faith is close to me, but I might lose. Been waiting way too long and I don't know if I'll make it My family's devastated And I see the roses fading Freedom Freedom Oh, freedom Thanks. How are you guys feeling? Are you guys, what's going on here? <laughs> um, this next one is called Still I Rise. It's about day-to-day -day struggles. Um, you know, it's, it's hard living these days, you know what I mean? Trying to feed your family, you know, take care of everybody. So this is called Still I Rise. <clears throat> In life you see a lot of highs and lows 
Build you up, then fall like dominoes Make you feel like you are all alone But still I know While we struggle, we may never know But the plan of God is never wrong Hold your head up high and just be strong But still I rise Holding on but I keep falling back Holding on but I keep falling back It's driving me crazy It's driving me crazy Holding on but I keep falling back Holding on but I keep falling back It's driving me crazy It's driving me crazy But still I rise But still I rise But still I rise Is anybody out there? Does anybody really care? Does anybody know my name? Does anybody feel my pain? I'm living like a stranger In a world that's even stranger Losing touch with humanity Mad at me but I'm just trying to keep my sanity Nobody knows I'm struggling But I gotta keep on hustling Providing for my family, planting seeds, can't you see, homie, I got mouths to feed. And I'm trying to live my fantasies, but we still live in thankfully. Down on earth like gravity, imagine me trying to turn my dreams to reality. Holding on, but I keep falling back. Holding on, but I keep falling back. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy Holding on but I keep falling back Holding on but I keep falling back It's driving me crazy It's driving me crazy But still I rise But still I rise But still I rise in life you see a lot of highs and lows Build you up then fall like dominoes Make you feel like you are all alone But still I rise While we struggle we may never know But the plan of God is never wrong Hold your head up high and just be strong Still I rise but still I rise But still I rise Thank you. Uh, you can find my uh, stuff online. If you write Elias Mao on Google, YouTube, social media, you'll find me. Um, and uh, thank you for having me. It's such, a, such an honor. Uh, this is my last performance in the UK, so I'll be flying back to Canada next week. Uh, but yeah, please follow me. Uh, I'll be releasing an, an album very soon. Everything I make is from my voice, so I don't use any musical instruments. I just, it's an acapella uh, genre, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elias. We felt like we were having a pancake with maple syrup from Canada. You know? I'll bring it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And, uh, so we're going to resume our poetry session. And uh, can you come, please? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, come. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm um, so last year I'd gone, I had like the best time in Somalia, it was amazing, I highly recommend everyone go back if you haven't been. And um, I had this like kind of like complex of what is home and I don't know, I've always been struggling like with like dual identity because I'm both British and both Somali, so this is what the poem is about. We arrived at the early hush of dawn. Fingernails collected dirt from the 10 hour stretch road leaving my hands in an ungodly state. Makeup shifted from my face to my new hijab. Fatha embraced me, words inaudible, 
Tears filled our mouths like a fasting man at Iftar. To know that I'm home but not home, and will soon leave home to go home. To a home I never loved but lived in, and leave a home I loved but never lived in. How does one rectify the lives lived on opposite sides of an ocean? I never learnt how to swim. I'm drowning in a language I cannot speak, yet I still call it mother. I still call Somalia my motherland, but Hoya is here, sat drinking tea without Hawash. This is my last poem. It's called Dear Future Me, and it's Somalia talking to its future self. <laughs> Dear future me, I hope one day you will become a better place. You have suffered enough for more than 25 years and you will be finally recognized by your race. I promise you that there will be no more fears and tears. That one day, Farhad Akunola Hina, we will live happily and that we will be proud to say we are from Somalia. We will take back our freedom. Is that correct? <laughs> and your people will reunite and they'll be proud to say We love our country so much. We will not forget our baris and mosques on the side of the sahan, the plate. The ma'awis and the say wallahi gang. Adi is getting fam. Our walalo acting like clowns, making us laugh till our stomach hurts, making us tear, tear up. We will reunite like the hidig on our flag, the star on our flag. The five points of the stars connecting all five states of Somalia. Our future daughters will wear the bati and garbasar with no shame. Wind gathering dust like swirls in the mid air. The gentle breeze reminded me of my future. I know that my future is bright, just like there is sunshine after this rain. I will not let my country continue to be torn and beaten by others who wish to destroy my culture. Dear future me, your past has been tainted. Your future has been cleansed of the handprints of the future first world generation trying to spill, spill out your excellence because poetry and creativity runs through your body like it's been painted. But finally, it's time for peace and liberation. Thank you so much for coming. I just want to welcome Federic, who put a lot of time in this event. She has worked so hard to, to execute all these programs, and we just welcome her to say a few words for us. Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. So uh, I was very lucky to work with the team uh, who set up this exhibition. Uh, the project started, I think, about two years ago. Um, Abdallah and Ahmed, they traveled to Somalia, Mogadishu last year, and they came back with the artwork, which is on this wall. Um, and uh, also um, the photography from Atu, which is on this side. Uh, downstairs we uh, have uh, some artists from London, uh, British artists. And then um, when Ahmed contacted me in uh, March to uh, join the team, um, I was not sure because I knew nothing about Somalia. And then uh, slowly I uh, started to learn more and more and I was uh, very happy to meet uh, the young uh, poets such as uh, Amina. I went to her home and uh, we had a wonderful session of henna and then uh, of poetry. So you can see her performance downstairs. Uh, we made a video and then uh, she came up with the idea of organizing this evening and to invite her friends and uh, um, colleagues who are based here in London. And I'm very pleased to see that they carry on the legacy of uh, Somali poetry. Um, so um, it was a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Thank you.
I just want to ask Elias Mo, please, to do another one for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please, really? to close it. Yeah. All right. That's, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll never refuse. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you as a ma maple syrup. Huh? <laughs> Real love. Oh. You, uh, you know my stuff, huh? <laughs> so, guys, I want everybody here to follow me right now. Get your phones out at Elias Nasheed right now. I don't hear any notifications. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, all right, so Real Love, uh, it's, it's on, again, it's on YouTube. I have seven videos up on YouTube. Uh, so if you um, enjoyed uh, my performance um, and would like to listen to more uh, poetry style a cappella songs, uh, you can you know visit my YouTube channel. Um, so real love is one of my first songs actually. Uh, all right, Bismillah. <clears throat> real love. Is for the people you can trust Who got your back no matter what Even when push comes to shove I'm talking real love It ain't something that you can touch Cause it's a gift sent from up above It's for the sake of Allah We can all think back on the people we love Everything that they've done For the sake of Allah From the smiles they give And for the sacrifice they make We may not always meet But when we do it's for His sake They remind you of the truth of this world They will keep your secrets They gave you their word They will help you up When you've fallen down For the sake of Allah They will always be around I'm talking real love is for the people you can trust Who got your back no matter what Even when push comes to shove I'm talking real love It ain't something that you can touch Cause it's a gift sent from up above It's for the sake of Allah For my hoyo and my eyeball And my wifey and my sisters And my brothers and my upties and my aunties know I miss ya Hey, any day could be my last So I spread love, you ain't even gotta ask Instead of hating on ya No, I'm making dua for ya Oh Allah, make us love each other only for ya Yeah, cause I'm your brother in Islam Everything I got, give it to you from my hands I'm happy when you're happy And I'm mad when you're sad Cause we are one body on any given land I'm talking real love it's for the people you can trust Who got your back no matter what Even when push comes to shove I'm talking real love It ain't something that you can touch Cause it's a gift sent from up above It's for the sake of Allah Thank you guys Um, I would just like to thank the, the people who've organized this, but also the youth of, of Somalia who are here and who are using their voices to express the confusion that they may be feeling, having been torn from one place, not knowing it, being here. It's not your story alone. There's many people all over the world who've been torn apart through war, who've ended up in different countries. And I think it's about this occasion really should be used to, one, express your voices, but maybe the next occasion should be about migrant voices and young people who've been torn from their countries as a result of war. But, you know, you've all got amazing voices. 
keep writing and the nasheeds are really, really very good. So thank you to the organizers. Questions to the poets, they'll be able to answer it for you. You're welcome. Um, any questions? Yes, the question is how often do you get the opportunity to perform? Today was my first performance. Um, well, for myself, today was my first performance, alhamdulillah. Um, I want to say thank you to Amina for giving me this chance and thank you to Frederica as well. I performed at quite a few universities. I started off at my own university, Westminster. It was at a Palestinian society event, and it went really well. Um, I perform at like open mics and stuff, and I work with this charity called Forward, which I think everyone should check out, which is about like FGM, female genital mutilation, and um, any conferences they have, I just perform there. Myself the same as well. I also organise like my own poetry nights, so I get forced to perform on those as well. <laughs> um, are there any more questions? The two ladies on the end, we didn't catch your names. Us two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, my name is Fahima Hersi. I'm just going to shout out my Instagram. Arawella Wright. <laughs> you can just follow me on there. And mine is Nima Oscar. Nemo Oscar. <laughs> Thank you very much. We just want to thank the audience. Without you, nothing would have happened, honestly. This is the best session that we have for this program. And we thank you so much. We are very grateful for coming here. And I hope you all have a bright future, inshallah ta'ala. Thank you very much. Cause it's a gift sent from up above It's for the sake of Allah We can all think back On the people we love Everything that they've done For the sake of Allah From the smiles they give For the sacrifice they make We may not always meet But when we do it's for His sake they remind you of the truth of this world They will keep your secrets They give you their word They will help you up when you fall in down For the sake of Allah They will always be around I'm talking real love it's for the people you can trust Got your back no matter what 
even when push comes to shove I'm talking real love It ain't something that you can touch Cause it's a gift sent from up above It's for the sake of Allah Hey, uh, for my hoyo and my abo Yeah, and my wifey and my sisters Uh-huh, and my brothers and my updi Yeah, and my aunties know I miss ya Hey, any day could be my last So I spread love, you ain't even gotta ask Instead of hating on ya No, I'm making dua for ya Oh Allah, make us love each other only for ya Yeah, cause I'm your brother in Islam Everything I got, give it to you from my hands I'm happy when you're happy And I'm mad when you're sad Cause we are one body on any given land